Kristen and you're watching the fan club. Today I'm doing a movie review of Fifty Shades of Grey. For those of you who don't know, this movie is based on a Twilight fan fiction that was turned into a book by E.L. James that was then turned into this movie. So let me tell you, there is plenty of Twilight ish stuff that goes on. I went into this movie not really knowing what to expect. I had heard it was crazy and I went with a bunch of people who had read the books. I hadn't read them. This movie literally has no plot. It's about this girl named Anastasia Steele who meets up with this guy named Christian Grey. He's this rich and famous businessman but it's so generic that like you don't even know what his business is. So they meet up, they like each other, but he has this kind of like quirk about him. I guess you could say, where he doesn't do romance or love and he's just into BDSM. Actually physically walking into the theater, there were people protesting this movie and saying that it was pro-rape culture and that it, you know, promotes abuse. After watching that movie, I didn't think that that was necessarily true. I felt like the movie was mainly, like, probably like 80% of this movie was about him trying to make sure that they were having consensual relations. So then like 15% of the movie was them like actually doing it, maybe even 10% of the movie. And then the rest which is like this little sliver of the movie was all like the backstory where you were like, oh look there's a Twilight reference and oh look she graduated from college, who really cares? They tried to add these like little things to make the movie more of a movie when really it was just like about them talking about should we have this BDSM relationship. If you're gonna see this movie you need to go with a big group of friends who are going to laugh throughout the whole thing because it really just is so cheesy, so, like, the lines are ridiculous. Like, when Christian Grey left, he'd be like, Laters, baby. Like, you can't say that with a straight face. Like, I couldn't even just say it now. Ugh, it was just awful. It just seemed like it was very awkward and not natural for them to, like, say any of the lines that were in it. You know, there's this one part where Christian Grey says, I'm just 50 shades of f***ed up. And everyone burst out laughing in the theater because that's so ridiculous. It's like, we need to make a Fifty Shades reference, so here we go. It felt like a, a parody of Twilight, but instead of them being vampires, it's BDSM. Like, there was a, a guy that came out and I was like, oh, is that the Jacob? Yup, there he was. And like, they go on this helicopter ride and I'm like, oh, there's Edward with Belle on his back, running through the forest. Two scenes that I thought were hilarious. Um, mainly because of the audience reaction, but one was they're sitting down and having this like intense like meeting about this contract that they're gonna have and he's like Listen, I'll do something for you. One day a week, any day you choose, we'll go on a real date. And it was just like ridiculous. But a couple of people <laughs> but a couple of people in the audience were like and we were just cracking up because it was like, really? Like, you're gonna awe about that? We need to up our standards, people. Right after that scene, she is like, okay, well, our contract's done. I'm gonna leave now. And he's like, are you really gonna leave? Don't leave. Let's, like, have some, you know, nice times together. And she's like, nah, I'm gonna leave. Everyone, like, clapped because she, like, really left, you know? He, like, couldn't convince her to stay, you know? Like, and I thought in those aspects, she wasn't, like, a super weak character. Anastasia Steele, who was played by Dakota Johnson, actually was, like, kind of a likable character, which I was surprised about because based on what I had heard about the book, I had heard that she was, you know, pretty much like Bella Swan. Just this, like, dull, dud character, always crying and tripping over things, and it's just, like, not likable. But then, actually watching Dakota Johnson's performance, she definitely brought things to it and did like cute little funny things. Those few moments were like, were like pretty decent. But then the character Christian Grey, he was just so, I don't know, it was like boring. He was just kind of like, I'm serious. It didn't seem like he was forcing her to do things. It seemed like these were things that, you know, she was open to doing them, but she also wanted more, you know, of a real relationship, of going on dates and having a boyfriend and, you know, actually waking up in the same bed, um, whereas he was kind of like, I can't do that. Even though he did, you know, like he actually did those things anyway in the movie. And then she's like, but look, see, we're having this great relationship. I don't understand why we need to sign a contract and make it this crazy, intense thing. And at the very end, it just becomes too much. And she says, affirm, no, and leaves. So that was the end of the movie. It was like a weird ending. 
it's obvious that they're going to continue on and make the rest of the series based on that ending because it wasn't really an ending. It, I, after watching the movie, I just felt like nothing had happened except they were like, should we sign this contract? Maybe. No. That's pretty much what happened. It was laughably bad and very cheesy. I think that's the perfect word to describe this movie, is just cheesy. But I would love to know what you guys think. If you've read the books or seen the movie, leave a comment below. I just think this is an interesting conversation because there's so many strong opinions about this book and movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will leave my social media links in the description box below if you want to check them out. We can chat about this movie or any other movies that are out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like my videos because I come out with new ones every week. See ya! Today I am reviewing Fifth Harmony's new album, Reflection. I'm talking to my own reflection I'm talking to my own reflection I'm talking to my own